The confrontation between the government and the medical community continues amid the crisis during the second wave of COVID-19. While the total number of cases surpassed the 20,000 mark due to the resurgence of the virus, criticism is growing over the continued strike that persists in such tough times. Thousands of trained doctors working at the general hospitals have been staging an indefinite walkout nationwide since August 21st to protest the government's medical reform plan. The government's scheme, which centers on increasing the number of medical students and opening new public medical schools, came out due to the lack of young doctors willing to work in essential medical departments such as cardiothoracic surgery, obstetrics, and severe trauma surgery. However, doctors argue that the government's medical reform plan is not the answer to resolving challenges facing the medical sectors. They also point out that the problem is not the number of doctors, but the medical fees that are paid by the National Health Insurance Service, or NHIS, to medical institutions providing medical services. In other words, raising the price of currently relatively low set medical fees can easily solve the problem. For example, if there is a shortage of cardiothoracic surgeons, the NHIS, in fact the government, can increase the price of heart surgery so that hospitals can benefit from it. If you don't have enough obstetricians to deliver, you can raise the delivery price. They claim that the government's plan alone without normalizing medical fees could waste taxpayers' money and destroy the current medical system, which is still operating, rather than solving problems. This is why they are protesting in spite of the coronavirus resurgence in the country. Trainee doctors in the Korean Medical Association said the walkout will be maintained until the government scraps the reform plan outright. Even though doctors may be 100% in the right, some argue that it is wrongful to stage a strike in the midst of the worst worldwide pandemic. The ruling party and civic groups are also criticizing the striking doctors, citing the uptick in the COVID-19 cases. However, others point out that holding patients hostage is not the doing of doctors who are on strike, but the adamant government that does not withdraw its plan. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching Korea Now.